Hello everyone, uh, Ori Bloop here. Welcome back to another tutorial. Um, in today's tutorial, we will be making the uh, double cherry power-up from Super Mario 3D World. Uh, if we have a look to my left, uh, here's a little demo of how it works. Uh, you have the uh, double cherry spinning right here, and if we go into it, uh, we will go ahead and control uh, two players. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and just get started. Okay, so in the edit mode, uh, you guys can go ahead and see that we have a simple third-person camera setup. Uh, if you aren't familiar with my channel, I do this a lot. Uh, I have a tutorial on it. Um, if you guys go look in the top right area, um, there should be a link to the six uh, types of cameras, um, and this will be included. So this is uh, the third-person camera. But let's go ahead and um, start making the actual uh, double cherry function. So the first thing I'm going to do is work on the um, teleporting function and um, getting the second player in the screen. So the first thing we're going to want to do is actually um, we're going to just copy the person with the left stick up and down and left stick left and right. So basically it's going to have the same movement um, as our actual character. So uh, if we go ahead and copy this, so I'm going to go ahead and box it in and press this little copy button just like that and for right now we're just going to go ahead and move it uh to the left right here so if we go ahead and see and look in the game uh you guys can tell that actually uh our uh movement already syncs up just because um both of the person nodons are using the uh left stick uh but we're going to actually uh make the function for the teleporting um, so what we need first is go to objects, uh, launch or, uh, yeah, launch to store attract and grab a uh, teleport object entrance. And then also let's make sure to get the teleport object exit. So for the entrance, uh, we're going to go ahead and connect it just right here, uh, to the, uh, this is to the second person node on, not our player, um, and then for the teleport entrance, we're going to go into the settings and um, we're going to do teleport what. And obviously it's going to be teleporting our person node on. And uh, I think that's pretty much it for that. And now for our uh, exit, we're going to go ahead and put this right over here and connect it to our actual character. So uh, connect it just like that. And then in our teleport object, uh, we're going to actually just do the connection point um, to the player's side because uh, I found that if we have it like in inside or if we have the uh, connection point in the center, sometimes it teleports our um, other player inside of our character and we don't want that. We, just, we want it next to us. Um, so we're going to just do that. And uh, I think that's pretty much it for the teleporting. And we can actually go ahead and test it out if we go to input, button press, and grab the A button. So that means if we press the A button, this guy should go ahead and teleport right next to us. So if we go ahead and look in the game, and if we press A, there we go. Now we have our second person uh, right next to us. Um, except now we want to trigger this with the actual um, sprite. So if we go ahead and go back to edit mode... Uh, we can go ahead and remove this A button, just like that, and let's go ahead and actually start working on the double cherry itself. So I have a texture over here, um, really, really easy, I, I spent like five minutes on it, um, so it's nothing really impressive, but uh, I just looked up a Google image and uh, just really quickly copied what it looked like. Um, and then also make sure for the texture face. Uh, we do the X center because it's going to be spinning on the Y and it needs to be center with X. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, make this a spinning uh, double cherry. So uh, go to objects and we're going to go to, I think it's in, okay, so it's in special objects. Go to rotating objects and we're going to go ahead and grab a box. Um, just go ahead and connect the uh, double cherry directly to the box like that. And we're going to want to spin this uh, rotating uh, box. So what we're going to do is grab um, input, um, go into constant and get a constant. 
and we're going to go ahead and make this a 0.10 just because one is a little bit too fast for us and then for the middle we're going to go ahead and grab a counter just like that connect the 0.10 to the count up and in the settings for the counter we're going to go ahead and loop this so that um, it doesn't spin out of control um, just like that and we're going to connect the output uh, right directly to the y axis so if we go ahead and look in the game um, it should be okay so what i what i need to do is it's in the center right now but i need to make the um, rotating box object um, invisible um, and for right now we'll turn off dest destructible and destructive just for right now but if we go ahead and look um, we can see that uh, our bot are basically the double cherry is um, spinning how it should be um, but let's go ahead and make it so that um, if we run into it it will go ahead and uh, be destroyed and it will go ahead and uh, teleport our second person so what we need to do first is um, we're going to do go inside and we're going to go ahead and make this a uh, destructi destructible towards uh, the person node on. So if we go ahead and uh, select person just like that and um, make sure that our character can also destroy it. So go into our person and do uh, destructive towards box. Okay, so it's already selected. Okay, and if we go up to it, we should be able to destroy it just like that. Okay, and um, I'm going to actually make the uh, box itself red so that it kind of looks like we're breaking the cherries because um, it looks blue. It looked blue before, but if we go up to it now, um, it looks red just like that. Um, so now what we need to do is we need a uh, detection system to make sure that we detect that we destroyed this. So if we go to objects, sensors, and grab, uh, grab a destroyed sensor, we can go ahead and connect it like that uh, directly to our box. And then um, right now we could actually connect it to uh, the teleport, but I'll show you uh, what's wrong with it. So uh, right now our character isn't next to us, but if we go ahead and um, uh, touch the double cherry, our player is next to us, but um, since it's destroyed, there's a constant output of one. So actually um, it's constantly teleporting our person right next to us. And um, that's not what we want because we want to make it look like they're uh, fully moving uh, like separately almost. So we're going to go ahead and disconnect this and add um, another piece to this. Um, if we go to middle and we go to uh, convert, we're going to go to trigger from zero. So this will only give an output of one once, like once, basically. So because uh, there's no change for this destroyed node on. Um, so we're going to go ahead and connect this output if changed uh, to the teleport. And what that should do is it should only make this uh, a one or like a one time thing, like a, an output of one really quick, and then it will go back to zero. So if we go back into the um, play, we can go ahead and see if we go ahead and walk right into this. There we go. That's how it should work. Um, they're basically separate, but you could uh, run in the same direction. Um, also, I know some people would want to add uh, a jump to this so we're going to actually do that really quick um, if we go to input and grab um, an a button for the jump we're going to go ahead and connect that to here and then also of course um, connect that to our uh, regular character and if you guys go ahead and look in the play uh, we can go up to it and there we go and we can jump as well and they'll both jump um, in sync just like that uh, but the last thing that I wanted to do is um, I wanted to add a wormhole entrance and exit so that we could separate our player from this uh, mechanism. So what we're going to do is go to middle program layout and get a wormhole entrance. And we're going to also get a wormhole exit. So for the wormhole entrance, we're going to go ahead and just connect it uh, directly to our trigger from zero, just like that. And then with our wormhole um, exit, 
we're going to go ahead and connect that directly to our teleport object. So it's basically whenever we um, touch this area, it will um, go through the entrance and then come out the exit and then it will teleport our player right next to our uh, character. So if we go in the game, everything should work normally and it does. Okay, um, and just to clean it up a little bit, uh, we're going to go ahead and move all these boxes from here, uh, just the from the character and also from uh, the double cherry. So for the first box, it's on the destroyed sensor, so make that invisible. And for the teleport um, entrance, make that invisible. And for the teleport exit, make that also invisible. And that should go ahead and clean up everything. Um, and if we go up to the double cherry, uh, it still works, of course. Um, and then also, uh, I, I'm probably going to receive questions on um, how to make the player like not show WoW during um, gameplay. Uh, the best way to do this is to like, I guess, get him off the map. So like, you can move him really, really far away from everything, and you could probably box him in. That's probably what you're going to want to do is uh grab some objects and just box in this character so he can't like move randomly on the stage so uh you know so like if we can't see him like let's say we have a box over there uh you won't be able to see him so uh that's the best way to do it i'm not sure if there's a better way um if you guys have a better way to do it then definitely leave you know comments in the uh, comment section um but for right now i think this is the best way where he's like really far off the map and then uh, he gets teleported right next to our character. Um, but I think that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Um, I know I was kind of going a little bit fast, but um, I think that's pretty much it. Um, for RPG th uh, Episode 3, it will be coming out very soon. I know a lot of you guys are anticipating that, uh, but I've been working hard on actually other series that I'm going to be uh, planning on coming out with. Um, so hopefully you guys uh, will get excited about those as well. But uh, thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you guys in another tutorial. Goodbye.